this episode of the assignment, Nikhil Chev is putting an architect who dreams of being a chef through the grind. For this, Nikhil has already tested Manish on some important aspects of this job. And finally, Manish will have to impress Nikhil with his cooking skills. Will he succeed in winning over Chef Nikhil? It's time for the final assignment. 40 minutes was the time given to you. How much time did you take? Uh, exactly 40 minutes. Alright, good. I'm glad to see. What do you make of uh, the job he's done? You know, I have to say this is absolutely perfect. I have to say I'm very happy this is, this is good. That's a great start. I have to say Thank you. from the market now with the fillet of the fish, I think Manish is moving up to a good seven. But it's a surprise really that made you cry, didn't it? Yeah, it was crazy. It was just it just took me off balance at that time. Why was that so important? You know, it's uh, it tests his knife skills. He was cutting very big pieces. Obviously, he was trying to meet the timing too. Right. So you have to move fast. Well, so that's task two and uh, fairly well accomplished. But now it's time for task three. What's it going to be? Task three, Manish, is cooking that fish. Yeah. Uh, we want to see you uh, steam it uh, and put a nice soy, ginger, white wine, garlic kind of sesame glaze to it. Uh, Nikhil, what about the recipe? I've never done this kind of cuisine before. I am not going to give you the recipe. I'm going to make you taste the dish. So I want to see if you're, uh, you know, if it's palatable. <laughs> and for the Bombay duck, I want you to make it Amchi Mumbai style, which is just easy fry. Mm -hmm. And there's a little trick to that, but I'm going to leave that with you. So your task is cut out. How much time does he have to be able to do this? 60 minutes. That's all. I see worry lines emerging. Absolutely. Until... Good luck. So I've been given this steamed snapper with soy ginger sauce and I'm supposed to replicate this. There's no recipe, there's nothing. There's definitely ginger, there's soy, I can see the red chilies and of course the spring onions on top. I think there's rice wine, but it's superb. I think I'm ready to cook. To start off with, the marination. Uh, there is a set of ingredients lying there in front of me on the bench. Apart from the ingredients that I can taste, there are 20 more ingredients lying there just to confuse me. Close, yet not the same. What am I missing? Teriyaki. Yeah, there's some teriyaki sauce. Little bit. I think I'm marinating my fish a little bit before I put it into the steamer. I'm going to do my prep for the Bombay duck, which the chef has asked me to do Indian style Bombay duck, which is more like a rava fry. But I think I'm going to do a slight twist to that whole thing and I did the Bombay duck in the orange sauce the way I wanted to do it. I don't know whether he likes it or not but I'm just going to try it. Another surprise comes to me. I open the lid and suddenly I see there's no water inside. At that point in time when I'm really running against time, I realize there's no water. There's no water in there. So, multitasking is something where I'm supposed to chop a salad, do a dressing, do multiple things together. But checking a schema, it's 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 something which it, it, it was there in the beginning. I start multitasking for the Bombay duck. I have prepared the wok filled with oil. It's it's hot. I start frying my Bombay duck. First one is out. Let me check the fish. So we have the fish ready. So that's my version of the Bombay duck. Nikhil surprised me today. I hope this is a pleasant surprise for him. Manish has completed his final assignment. The chef and his creation will now be put to test. Chef, why don't you go ahead? Well, yeah, I've been waiting for this moment. Chef, I've uh, I tried to figure out whatever steam fish that was prepared by you. Uh, right. You asked me to do a Bombay duck fry in an Indian style, uh, but somehow I've been always practicing and working uh, back home with French and Italian and the world cuisine. 
So I thought I'll uh, maybe just try to do a little twist on the entire thing. Okay, up to you. What are you going to try first? I think I'm going to try the steamed fish. Do you like the presentation? I think it's pretty good. It's got the look that we want. You know, it's got uh, scallions have been chopped up pretty well. The ginger, the chilies on it. I find the fillet is a little broken up. So that could have been maybe more yeah. a cleaner piece. You know, right. so that looks nice. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, here goes. Not bad. You've tried to get the flavors in. It's got that soy, ginger, scallion, slightly sweet. I think you've overdone a little bit this maybe the salt content, and it's a little, you know, it's too much flavor. Steamed fish should be something like really subtle, you know. Flavor is nice, but I think it's, it's it's overdone. Maybe the salt I did add the fish sauce and the teriyaki marinade also a little bit. Let me say that this, you know, soy and teriyaki have different flavors. Teriyaki is really 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 it's strong. On the whole, you know, a good effort. Yeah. Six on ten. Thank oh. you, sir. Yeah. But time to try out the second one. Uh, I'm a little disappointed to see see this dish here, uh, purely because I had asked for something totally different. So my idea was actually to, to use the Bombay duck in this traditional way and eat it as a starter. This has gone away from what we had requested. And also, since we're serving the, the two together, the first thing that comes to my mind is that they both look very similar. Mm -hmm. So what have you done here again? I basically did the Bombay duck in a Japanese tempura style. You know, I like the sauce. I think it's good. Uh, it, it could be good for a duck, but I have to say it's not great for the bomb builder. Half of the battle is actually following the recipe. In a real life situation, you know, if you've got a customer who wants uh, a certain style and he's asked you for a certain style, but you don't know, you know, you're not very comfortable with that, mm. and you give him something else yes. of your own style, which is, you know, your own style. But for the customer who's Paying the money? Mm, I don't think so. It was not uh, that I deliberately, uh, he asked me and I wanted to just break away from that. It was more of trying to show something more than what he's asked me to do. We noticed that when you couldn't find your tools for a certain job at hand, you did yeah. lose your cool. Now Manish, it's, it's, that's your baby, right? Yeah. So you can't be blaming that, you know, Mene pani ne rakha, or somebody else didn't put the water. It's your dish, so you got to multitask in the sense that you know, at one time you are, while you're chopping or you're filling the fish or you're chopping your onions, if your water is steaming, you got to know so that you can be effective on time. Now you've got a sense of the real world. What's your what's your takeaway? So the dream was, is still is to have a restaurant on the ground floor, have an architectural practice on the first floor, and shuffle between the two. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking for too much. It's like it's crazy. I think I've got to learn, and I I, I don't think I'm going to give up. Manish has got a spark in his eye and think that's very important. Uh, he's not overconfident. He's willing to learn, willing to absorb. So I think Manish has got potential. I would really thank Nikhil for letting me part of his kitchen. To let somebody who has no idea of being in a professional kitchen, to just let him in the kitchen and, you know, let him see. This assignment uh, more than fulfilled than what I was expecting. I think it was a wonderful experience. I thoroughly enjoyed it.